Hey there and welcome. This is Nelly Deutsch and today we're going to take a look at the WebQuest and join a course, a free online course. So before we get started, what is a WebQuest anyways? Well, information on that and other information related to WebQuest you will find on the WebQuest Wizard, which is a ChatGPT GPT that I created. And the course that you can enroll is called AI Generated WebQuest. And you click on this and enroll. I'll be sharing this uh, presentation in the description of this video. You can also take a look at the WebQuest form template, which is right here on the right. So let's get started with this Google Doc where I demonstrate what a WebQuest template looks like before you get started with the course and the WebQuest wizard. So first of all, notice this is a table of contents with the title of the WebQuest grade level designed by your name, of course, layout, introduction. These are the various parts of the WebQuest. Introduction, task, process, resources, evaluation, conclusion, credits, and references, and teacher page if you wish. You can also have a student page and add anything else that you'd like there. So we're going to scroll down and take a look at the template. So you can actually go into file at the top right, click on that and simply download it if that's what you wish to do. Or you can make a copy and I suggest you make a copy. No need to ask for permission. You have my permission to make a copy. When you make a copy, you can change the name so you don't get mixed up. But that's up to you. You can keep the same name if you like. That's okay too. Notice the layout and then notice what you will be using. Introduction, task, process, evaluation, conclusion, credits, and the teacher page. So let's take a look at a sample introduction used from a book, a novel called The Giver by Loris Lowry. So you'll be able to go through the introduction and see what an introduction of a web quest looks like. And this is a sample. I'm not going to read it to you, but you can read it later on. And then the task. The task explains, uh, and here is a sample. Notice it's all based on teamwork. The team will investigate. The team will collaborate. The committee's final written reports and presentations will include. So those are the actual outcomes of the process. Notice what's in the process. You organize, these are instructions, step-by-step -step instructions. You organize yourselves in teams of four. Make sure everyone on the team has read The Giver by Lois Lowry. You read the task above and divide your work among the team members. And then notice these links are super important. You may write your individual review reports according to the following format. And if you click on that, it'll take you to another Google Doc. Let me take you there now. And this is what it looks like. This is the Perfect Society, the committee's journal. And this is how you can do it. Investigator's name, the personal information, and then uh, interview questions related to the book. We're going to go back now. So let's do that now. So that's the individual interview reports and it's a format. Next, the final product is a collaborative writing report that sums up the four interviews. So there are four interviews. Each member of the team interviews one character, right? Of course, the characters aren't there but they're imagined. And notice what this is. This is an example of the written reports. The written reports consist of seven parts and students will be doing this as a team. This is a collaborative writing report. The cover page, 
table of contents, and so on. So that's all here. If you'd like to use this web quest, you are very welcome to do so. It's been around since 2005, and many, many teachers and schools have used it. So let's continue here. That's number five. And then notice each member will be evaluated for both team and individual interviews. So notice here, there is another Google Doc. And let's open it up. But this one, notice, it's the evaluation of the teams or the committees, final written report. Okay, this is a rubric and students receive this in advance so they get an idea of how they will be graded and of course teachers get it. And so that was the team evaluation, but there are also individual evaluations and you can see that here. This is an example of the committee's individual report. So we're talking about at least four reports if it's a team of four. And it's highly recommended that you do have a team of four, no more and no less. And then number seven, edit your written observations and the results of your interviews as a team. And then check the team evaluation rubrics to find out how you will be graded for teamwork. Now this is super important because your work as a team is very important. And I tell that to my students, whatever problems you're having, that's important to add. It's part of the process. So that's uh, the grading system for that. Let's go back. You can read that. And then number eight, plan your presentation because you're going to present the outcomes of your research, of course, of your interviews as well. And you'll be doing it as an oral presentation. And uh, that is in the classroom or it could be fully online. This is what I do in the classroom. Take a look at that. And then you are encouraged to present your work in a creative way. And I've had students dance, um, you know, choreograph a wonderful dance in the face-to-face -face class. It was amazing. But they also created videos of uh, plays and so on in the class or just showed the video. You can also use visual aids and other multimedia techniques such as video, audio, PowerPoint, presentation, blogs, podcasts, website, uh, or other com or combination. Now make sure that each member of the committee is ready to present one aspect of the findings. So it is teamwork. Not one person speaks for all. Everything is divided. And, and this is the committee's presentation. Okay, and information on that for you students to check as a team. And then 11 is the greatest out of 125 points for the individual work, 25 for the team presentation, and 50 points for the team collaborative writing report. Do not hesitate to ask questions, of course. Uh, and then list of helpful links added to the process. And notice, uh, WebQuest Wizard, where you can create your evaluation, your conclusion, and everything else. And the wizard is right here. So let me go into the wizard. It's completely free on ChatGPT 4.0. And this is what it looks like. Let me close the left window here. Completely free. And you can ask questions, any question, design a WebQuest and your topic. You can ask for it. Uh, to provide a rubric and a table format or any of the steps or blocks as I call them. So it can do everything for you. Let's go back to the top now and we're going to go to the course. But before we do, let's take a look at the WebQuest form template. Okay, this is a form also completely free. Notice the information is here as well as the course link. You just fill it in and notice what you will add, full name, contact, what is the title of the web quest, introduction. You will add your answer here, 
task, your answer to the task. And you can get all the information, by the way, using the WebQuest wizard that I showed you before. Let's go on into the course. This is the course. It's a completely free course, completely online that takes place. Notice, but you need to apply. Okay, so these are the questions. You can just copy paste them over here and then add your answers and simply apply. So I'm going to apply and show you what the course looks like. So here I am in the course, AI Generated Web Quest. It started on July 1st and has been taking place for a number of years. So stay tuned next year if you can't take it this year. Notice uh, what you will see at the top in the blue. You'll see course, participants, grades, reports, badges, and more. You can unenroll if you don't like the course. I hope you stay download the course content at the end. If you go to the left, you'll see what's called Open Course Index. Click on that and you get each part. Notice the uh, circles, they get filled in when you do the tasks. Some of the tasks are just view and some have uh, to do activities. So I'm gonna close that. But I just wanna show you before I close that the left is related to the center. So for example, if I wanna go to uh, the introduction, which is week one, it'll open up in the middle. And notice now I'm under introduction week one, if I scroll down. I'm going to close the left here so that I can focus in the center. All right, notice um, the activities. This is to do. What do you see? To do presentation, but the to do for the presentation is just view. So if you open it up, you'll be able to view the presentation. There it is. Let's go back here. And uh, to do, if I open the to do here on the right, it'll say receive a grade, receive and passing grade, all the grades are out of 100. Notice the introductions using the instructions are here. Just follow it one after the other. If you have any questions, you simply go into the support form. Notice it's a four week course, but week one has one topic section. Week two has one, two, and three. Week three also has three sections. Week four is the showcase and reflect. And then you get a certificate of completion when you do all the tasks. The orientation is your starting point. So here it is. Notice the to do is mostly view. The only thing you need to do here is to choose, make a choice here. And here you choose a recorder out of the list. Just choose it and then save your choice. Let's go back here. We can also go to the left to the course index and notice where we are here. Choose a recorder. We might want to go to about the web quest or somewhere else or to the support. Or we can go to the very top of the orientation, click on that, and that'll take us to the orientation. Notice it's black here, because that's where we are. And then scroll down and see what else is here. Notice um, this has no to do, but you might want to read or rather watch that. This one has a to do, so uh, view it. And notice support form where you can ask questions. And then there is about the web quest, more information about that, and um, the announcement, of course, which is also on the right here, the latest announcements. If you just joined, you can watch that. And then our next meeting is on July 7th. Activities, these are the activities, latest badges will appear here, and gamification where you get credit for doing the work. This is a completion progress. The minute you do something, it'll turn into baby blue, so you'll see what's missing in case you wanna know how you're doing, your progress. Right, so that's about the web quest. There's also a form here and a video that you can watch and spaces where you can add your web quest. 
Next are the Zoom meetings and the recordings. And notice we have the recording of week one so far. All four recordings will appear one beneath the other. Uh, these are Zoom meeting takeaways. You can start a form here. Just click on it, add a discussion, and you're good to go. And um, this is where you register for the Zoom meetings by clicking on it. And then you are taken to a register. You click on register and you're taken to this registration form. You fill in your first name, last name, your email, and so on. And then you register. Let's go back here into the course. Notice you can go to the left here and go back to where you were. We're going to go back to week one. Okay, notice uh, the circle is now green because I opened the presentation. Let's close the left. And that's it. Let's go back. And here we are once again with a WebQuest template. If you need to contact me, feel free to uh, contact me by going into the very last area of this Google Doc by clicking on it and notice it'll take you to my YouTube channel where you can contact me by going into any one of my videos and adding your comments or contact me directly when in my channel and subscribe for more. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, by the way, you can also uh, add comments to this video, of course, on YouTube and um, ask your questions there. Enjoy the web quest. It's an amazing way to engage your students in teamwork and lots of learning and peer learning where they teach one another. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.